Hi, it's the MLM for the Soul Channel, and I do have a new topic for today. Before I begin, I just would like to say may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And some people I thank who have inspired me. I hope they can inspire you as well, and I'll have links below this video to their sites. They are Rabbi Shalom Arush, Rabbi Lazer Brody, Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansur, Rabbi Alona Nava, Rabbi Yuval Avadja, Rabbi Daniel Asur. Nisan Baruch Black, David Sachs, Rabbi Michael Skobak, Jews for Judaism, Rabbi David Asher, and Yaron Ruvain. And then if you've never checked out this channel before, do check out my first video, which explains what MLM for the Soul is all about, what it stands for, and what I am doing. And that will also be linked right below this video. So today's part two of what I call Questions of Happiness. This is taken from the book Kindness by Rabbi Zeli Pliskin. It's from the Art Scroll Pocket Scroll series, and I will have a link below to uh, Art School's site as well. And this, they're underneath the book, it says, Changing People's Lives for the Better. That's the line underneath. So, this was an interesting chapter that had questions, and I thought it would be interesting to ask myself the questions and answer them, and then you can also do this on your own. So, it's, it says here, when you ask people questions, you get them to focus on special pieces of information and memories. It is an act of kindness to ask the type of questions that give people pleasure and increase their level of happiness. So... I was up to the question that's titled, when, do you feel you would, when did you feel you would succeed and you actually did? That's a very good question. Um, when did I feel I would succeed and actually did? Hmm. That's a, that's a good one. I think that's stumping me. I have to think about that for a second. Um, well, I think success, success is relative, what you think it is. To me, uh, I've changed that uh, idea in my head as far as what a success means. So for me, it's more in a spiritual sense, on a deeper level. So I think if you can keep doing what's right in in the ways of Hashem, then you'll be successful. If you follow His His laws, His commandments, the rules and regulations, we do have them. Um, then you'll always be successful. So I would say it like that. Next question. When have you felt joy about seeing someone you hadn't seen in a long time? Oh, wow. Um, yeah, that's definitely the case. Um, there are certain people, friends, who I haven't seen in a long time. Um, so that would be something like, I, I, there are certain friends I actually haven't seen in a long time still, and uh, I don't even hear from them, so I'm sure when I do see them, I'll probably be very happy to, to have that but yeah there's been times when I've seen people you know it's been years I live in a different place than they do so what praises and positive feedback have you appreciated um, well I you know people people like to give people credit for certain things that they do but in the end I understand that it's all from Hashem so the credit goes to him even if somebody praises me like oh your food is delicious or oh, this thing you wrote, and you're so this, and you're so that. I'm like, I always say thank you, but thank Hashem first. He, he gets the credit for giving me the abilities. Um, and then positive feedback. Everything, if you look at everything as positive, even if what we call it constructive criticism, but everything can have a positive spin on it. So if you allow it to be positive, even if someone is telling you, oh, well, I just suggest that maybe you do things differently, or this would be better for you. It's not that they're trying to be mean or anything. They're just trying to, uh, you know, help you along. So I think everything can be looked at positively. What is the nicest thing a teacher ever told you? Oh, my goodness. I had some great teachers growing up. Um, I can't think of anything right off the top of my head, but I know that... You know, I always did my work in school, and I always liked school, especially younger younger years, when um, I think you had more of a connection with your teachers than when you went off to higher levels of school. And uh, so I can't remember per se what was the nicest thing a teacher ever said to me, but I had some great teachers growing up. Like in the last video, I mentioned Rabbi Mandel. He was one of my favorites when I was a little kid. Um, and I always enjoyed learning from him. And from him, I actually learned how to do my Hebrew, write Hebrew, I should say, um, Hebrew script. And I think my mother always says that it reminds her of Rabbi Mandel, the way he writes. So I, mean, I guess it must have rubbed off. It was a good, 
good things rubbed out from him. So, and uh, the next one, when did you surprise yourself by being more skillful at something that, than you thought you could? Um, I don't know. Um, you know, certain things I've done that no one's ever really taught me to do, for example, you know, like play a drum. I've always had a musical, I guess, inclination. So if you have a rhythm, you know, so I've never taken classes. Uh, same thing with singing. I've never actually taken classes. Um, I've always liked to sing. And I seem to have that ability on my own. So, um, so yeah, you know, certain things are kind of innate. And I think they're, again, from Hashem, He gives us that ability. So that's some of our creativity that he gives us and I think the idea is how you use it um, the skills that you're given should be used for a higher purpose and that's what I strive to do and I'm always working on doing how do you how do you look when you smile at yourself in the mirror well I'm smiling right now and um, um, I think um, I think what looks back at me is is good um, I try to always have a positive and um, happy demeanor and attitude so I think that's important that we all strive to that as well because that uh, makes you feel better when you smile it, it radiates out and it radiates out also to other people so and when has someone given you a gift that you greatly appreciated wow that's a good one um, well I could say my parents for giving me the gift of life. I mean, of course, along with Hashem, they were partners in it, so I guess that's probably one of the greatest gifts. I, I don't know, like material gifts, you know, growing up, you know, you get things that you like, but like I say, I've changed from all that, so, you know, having the gift to be able to connect to Hashem, to be able to see all the gifts that we're given that we take for granted, our sight, our ability to speak, our ability to hear, our ability to smell, uh, our ability to chew our food, um, you know, ability to taste our food. I mean, there's so many gifts, they're endless. You could probably write volumes on that. Um, so that's just gifts we're given also from Hashem. What do you consider your wisest decision? My wisest decision, I would say, is... Um, uh, being a someone who's, I guess you can call everyone a Baal Tshuva, a Baalat Tshuva, you know, coming back and doing, finding what's right and doing what's right, um, following the Derech of Hashem, I think that's the wisest decision you could do in this lifetime because it's going to affect you in the next lifetime. So I think if you can find your way back, if you're struggling or something, look into places like some of the pl places I mentioned, the... the inspirational people like uh, especially Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi of DivineInformation.com I mean there's many others you know that do Kira that do help people bring them back to do Tshuva to repent and to find the goodness in what what's really our purpose in life and to know that um, you can still have a happy life a good life a pleasurable life it doesn't mean that I'm lacking anything because I'm doing the will of Hashem I'm actually more free and enjoying life even more what advice do you have for others to increase their happiness? Well, I think I just said that uh, related to the last question. I think if you do what you're supposed to be doing in life, you will have a happier life because you won't have, I mean, you still have the challenges because you still have what to overcome from past, uh, you know, uh, lifetimes and stuff like that and uh, when you reincarnate. So, but I think if you do, if you do the good, the good, you, you'll, it'll come in return. Maybe not right now, maybe you still have things to overcome. But I think if you follow the right way, like I was just thinking about this the other day, for example, um, when it comes to SNE, it's for modesty for women. Uh, people may not realize this. I think I read this somewhere. I can't remember where. Maybe it was from Ozma Darlabusha, Modesty and Adornment for Life, that a woman, when she is constantly dressed modestly, do you realize her whole body is involved in the mitzvah? There's no no other mitzvah that involves your entire body all at the same time a man doesn't have that only a woman has it so imagine you are continuously doing your whole body is involved in the mitzvah that's amazing and it's constant it's every second you know a man may wear it's filling you know like all day or something and he has it sits us on but it's not covering his entire body us it's our entire body that's being covered so i think that's amazing so i just wanted to share that um 
What did you do for someone else that you felt great about? Well, I think just helping other people, any kindness you can do, whether you can give someone of your time, of your money, uh, your effort, your, uh, you know, give someone a helping hand, lend them a, a listening ear, anything you could do that you can show chesed, kindness to others. Uh, what is the nicest thing a total stranger ever did for you? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, well, uh, yesterday this happened, but she wasn't a total stranger. I met her once before, but this woman... Uh, gave me a ride home, all the way home from not very close by. It was very nice, and we had an amazing uh, conversation. It turns out there's so much interconnectedness, and she's very religious in her own way and spiritual. And she's not sure. I don't think she's not Jewish as I know of, but she, her mannerisms and everything are so we, we're so connected, and she's a wonderful spirit. So that was just you know like wonderful. Uh, what have you been grateful for in the past? Well, you know, grateful for just life, I guess you could say. I'm grateful for that in the past. I'm grateful in the present and in the future. What Hashem gives me, gives me the chance to do more goodness here, to do what I need to do, like I was saying yesterday to this woman, to collect more diamonds, collect more mitzvahs, collect more good deeds, to, to accumulate, you know, in, in, my, um, in my record book, you know, to have to, something to show for when I, I go up, uh, you know, to be judged, so that's something. Um, and what are you grateful in the present? Same thing, ditto. Uh, what What have you felt joyous? When have you felt joyous for no special reason? Well, there's always a reason to, to be joyous, but joy comes from within, I think. And I know for me, sometimes when I sing and I get really connected to it, I feel this different kind of feeling, you know, and it's like a deeper connection with Hashem more that it's like hard to explain but it's like there's this inner joy it's not a outer joy it's an inner joy this is, comes more from within than from without or from having something to look at from outside yourself it's more from inside what healthy activities give you a natural high <laughs> well singing uh, that's one of them so I guess that's kind of like related to the last question um, you know being out in nature like I'm outside you can see out here where I'm at you know I have all these beautiful trees and there's birds around and you know, that I always enjoy, and other little creatures and stuff, and, you know, um, things like that, uh, definitely. When were you about to give up and someone encouraged, someone's encouragement kept you motivated? Um, I don't know if I've ever given up on anything. You know, everyone has challenges in their life, and they're maybe discouraged, but I always try to say, Hashem, have, I have trust, I trust you, Hashem, I have faith in you, I try to keep... And, you know, um, repeating that and saying, Ain't on the vitals is not to be a shem, and, and encourage myself from within, from giving, so that I keep going. But because, yeah, it's very easy to just sometimes want to give up um, because everything seems to not be going your way, but it doesn't mean that it's not going your way. It's just not going the way you would like it, but it's following the derech and the direction that Hashem wants, so you have to just keep going with it. But also, you have to do the good and what's right. So that it'll continue in that direction because I always, I say this too, that it's not Hashem that ever changes. He's always the same. He's always good. He's always doing what's right. Everything is correct. Everything's for the best. It's us that is changing. So if we go in the direction he wants us to, he follows suit. But if we go in a different direction, he follows suit with that as well. Um, what is your favorite question from all that has been asked of you? <laughs> now that I'm reading this thing, um, you know... Probably about being grateful. You know, I think that's one of the most important things we can have in life is gratitude. Uh, we have to be grateful for everything we have and even everything we don't have because there's a reason for that too. And we have to remember that and we have to always uh, do that and, and continue to be grateful. Thank people. You know, let's say you take a taxi or get on a bus or, you know, thank the driver. You know, thank the cashier where you shop. You know, thank you for your service, thank you for your help, thank you, you know, always be grateful, even for the little things, so that people know that they feel appreciated, everyone should feel appreciated, because that's very important, that we, that we, and that's something to emulate from Hashem, you know, being grateful, you know, we have to be grateful for, to Him, ultimately, for everything, I mean, without Him, there'd be nothing, uh, because He is everything, uh, so that's most important, and in closing, I just want to say that I hope that we all, uh, take all this information that I've shared with you and the questions and 
really delve into them on your own and, and see what you could do that is going to make things better for your life, more happiness and, and, and more gratitude and doing things for Hashem so that we can all merit to live and see the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days and the rebuilding of the final everlasting base Hamigdash. Amen and thanks for watching.